What is going on guys? So this is uh, another edition of Young Outdoorsman TV here. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how to make you a deer hide scraper, flesher, just a nice fleshing tool. And uh, I had some comments on Facebook there asking about how I, how I made my tool. And uh, generally when you flesh a, uh, an animal hide for tanning, you uh, you remove the meat with uh, usually a, a fleshing knife that looks similar like this. This is actually a draw knife. But you would push the meat off the hide like that. And uh, with all my experience with using a flesher similar to this, I've cut more holes than I've done good. So what I used to do is take a knife and just fillet the meat off. Just, just kind of here and there and just get it the best I can and uh, what I can't get I will tack it up and depending on how much membrane and meat and fats left on I will uh, salt it but I'll tack it up and let it dry stiff where it's rawhide and then I'll take this scraping tool and then I'll scrape it all off and I'll thin the hide down now all this is this is a maple handle on this one uh, it is crooked as I'll get out uh, this is deer rawhide that I've used to hold my bit on and this is just a it's it's got a, like a bio bevel on it's got two bevels just uh, a mild steel bit that I took and uh, made on the grinder wheel and uh, you need to keep it fairly sharp and uh, all you need for that is just your file but uh, the reason I've had people ask me how to make these and this one is uh, splitting out on me I'll have to show you it's splitting out on me right there and it's going to split right there, right there in that little saddle. And uh, my handle is crooked on me. So, and I needed to make me a new handle anyways. And uh, some people asked me how I made my scraper and flesh, fleshing tool. So, I figured I'd just go over the whole process with you guys. So, uh, I went out in the woods there the other day right before dark. And I was looking around. And it took me, seemed like forever. To find a regular old just a, a sapling that's got a Y on it and I found bunches of them but you got to have just the right angle you have to have just the right angle so that way you can use the tool if it's too far out it won't work you know just the way you, the way it's built so I finally found one see that the tree grows like that and you cut him off right here and right here and you make your tool but you, I, it took me forever to find uh, a tree that had just the right fork on it. But I was out looking, and uh, right up here I got me a, a new handle. So basically this is, this is it right here. This is a, actually a really cool piece. It's got a twisted handle on it. I don't know how well you can see that. It's going to have a real twisted handle, kind of like one of them twisted walking sticks. But this is what it looks like. It actually looked like this up in the tree. It forked off and it had some other limbs that come off right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this this cap over so that way none of this saddle don't split out on me. Just crown that over. And then I'm going to take this end. I done peeled the bark off a little bit to see how the wood reacts. And then I'm going to cut it off about right here. And see that gives me the perfect, perfect angle. Just like this one. It matches this one perfect. See, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw y'all on time lapse here, but I'm going to I'm going to peel this bark off and try and leave every bit of the the twist in it that I can, and then I'm going to I'm going to actually saw this one off about right there, this end, and then I'm going to round this over. But what I'm going to use here is I'm going to take I ain't got a bite. So I'm going to take some big clamps here and just clamp it to the table. And then I'm going to take a dry knife and I'm just going to really make me a solid handle. Uh, if anybody's wondering what kind of wood this is, I couldn't tell you. Uh, my father said something about it being some kind of ironwood. So it ought to be like a real stout hardwood. So uh, this handle right here is like a hard maple, but it's light. And uh, it's not quite as hard where it's maple. It's it's about the the softest of the hardwoods you can get, and so I want to make me a little bit more durable tool and uh, show y'all how I do it. So I'm gonna throw you guys on the time lapse, uh, 
I'm gonna take the bark off, cut this little end off, take my draw knife right here, and I'm gonna round this this top over, and then I'll get back with y'all and uh, show y'all how it goes. So uh, y'all stay tuned.
All right, so we're back here. Um, I've got my handle finished up. You should have saw most of that. Uh, I cut my groove in, and uh, I've got my bit. It's just a piece of quarter inch flat bar stock. Uh, this is mild steel, and I've got some deer raw hide here. Uh, this stuff's pretty easy to make. It takes a little while, but it's pretty easy to make from uh, the deer we kill. And uh, so, to finish this thing up, I'm going to actually, after I get done doing this, I'm going to uh, put some uh, deer fat on this handle here and seal the wood. But uh, here's how this handle turned out. Looks good and nice. I'm going to untangle. I had this on this other bit here and I just softened it up and fixed it. But It's like glue when it ties itself in a knot. It sticks together, but we're gonna take a slider bit in there. So there's how it's gonna look. We're gonna center him up. And take some of this soaked wet rawhide here. This is kind of tricky at first. Wrap it over once and tie it. Tie it real good so it holds on. Double knot it and then I'm gonna This is all you need to hold it on. You could use epoxy or glue, but the good, but the good thing about this is that uh, you can always soften, soak this rawhide and soften it and uh, get your bit back out of here and sharpen it or do whatever you need to with it. If I can get it to hold in here. It's definitely not easy to do at first. This stuff has a natural glue in it, so as it dries, it shrinks real good. Loop that over yourself here. Cinch it down. And we'll keep on going. If uh, y'all don't make your own rawhide, y'all need to. This is some super tough stuff. I've really got a little extra put on here, but Just like that. There's how I make my scraper flush, scraper slash flusher tool, whatever you want to call it. As that dries, it'll get cinched down in there real good. Push 
pushed up in there real good. And now you've got a good deer hide scraper. So, real cool looking. That's what it looks like. Let's see if it's on frame. There's what it looks like. Nice twisted handle on it. And so guys, 